Hello, my name is George Can. I'm a PhD candidate at University College London, and today I'm going to talk to you about ARIES, a retrieval framework Mars model for the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, in particular for NOMAD solar occultation measurements. So I'm going to briefly run through an outline of my presentation. First, I'm going to give you an introduction to the purpose and the motivation behind ARIES. Then I'm going to talk to you about what ARIES is, then I'll go into the methods and talk about how ARIES uses techniques from the exoplanetary atmospheric science community, such as nested sampling, to invert spectra. Then I'll talk to you about the NOMAD solar occultation channel, blaze function, and acousto-optical tunable filter that have been incorporated into ARIES. Then I'll briefly go over the geometry, atmospheric priors, and absorption cross-sections that we've used then I'll go into the results, where I'm going to show that ARIES has been compared against the planetary spectrum generator in terms of its forward model, so in terms of simulating the NOMAD spectra. Then I'm going to show ARIES marginalized and conditional posterior distributions, whereby we can see correlations between different Martian atmospheric parameters. Then I'll go into and look at alternative representations for nomad spectra and how we can highlight absorption features and also look into the baseline topology and consider how these new representations may give us a better understanding of the Martian atmosphere, especially when combined with ARIES. Then I'll give a summary and conclusion, acknowledgements, thanks, questions, contact details, and finally I'll show you my references. Is there methane on Mars? The nature of methane on Mars is still controversial with biological and non-biological sources having been suggested to explain the detection. SAM-TLS, or Sample Analysis at Mars Tunable Laser Spectrometer, on board Curiosity has made methane measurements during the day and night, including a methane background of 7.2 plus or minus 2.1 parts per billion over a 60 sol period. However, in contrast, the arrival of the Trace Gas Orbiter and its subsequent science mission has detected no methane, with an upper limit of 0.05 parts per billion above 5 kilometres. Furthermore, on the 20th of June 2019, a 19.5 plus or minus 0.8 part per billion methane emission in Gale Crater was reported by SAM TLS. Moreover, the planetary Fourier spectrometer on board Mars Express has detected a 15.5 plus or minus 2.5 part per billion methane detection above Gale Crater. This was done on the 16th of June one day after SAM TLS independently detected a methane spike. So there is a slight discrepancy between surface and orbital methane measurements, and this constrains the mechanisms of production and destruction that are needed to corroborate the measurements. So the aforementioned points are the motivation behind the ARIES retrieval code. ARIES is a novel retrieval framework system, and it's designed for the TGO, in particular for NOMAD and for solar occultation measurements. ARIES has heritage in methods used in exoplanetary atmospheric science, in particular for low signal-to-noise observations. This provides ARIES with unique insight into the chemical composition of the Martian atmosphere, which potentially could help unravel the nature of methane on Mars. These methods also allow us to determine correlations between atmospheric parameters. The diagram on the right shows a flow diagram of the ARIES model, with blue boxes highlighting ARIES modifications to TAREX-3, and the red and grey boxes show TAREX-3 components. Here's a zoomed in image of that diagram. Here we can see Mars chemistry, temperature, planet, star, absorption cross-sections and geometry modules are fed into the forward model. This allows us to simulate nomad spectra. The final output is a set of marginalized and conditional posterior distributions of nomad solar occultation measurements. ARIES is the Mars version of TAREX-3. TAREX-3 is an atmospheric retrieval framework that uses nested sampling and MCMC methods to sample the full likelihood space of possible solutions. TAREX-3 can produce marginalized and conditional posterior distributions which can be used to map correlations between these atmospheric parameters. For example, temperature, volume mixing ratios of certain trace gases, such as methane. This is 
advantageous over other planetary atmospheric retrieval frameworks that only find the maximum a posterior solution through optimal estimation. The example to the right shows an example posterior distribution of NOMAD simulated spectra retrieved using ARIES for diffraction order 134, which is typically used for the retrieval of methane. Here we show ARIES NOMAD solar occultation blaze functions and acousto optical tunable filters. The diagrams here have been incorporated into ARIES. A shows a derived map of NOMAD solar occultation channel blaze function with relative intensity against diffraction order and pixel number. The red line corresponds to diagram B, a derived plot of blaze function intensity against wave number, in particular for diffraction order 134. C shows a derived plot of the acousto optical tunable filter. D shows the relative flux contributions of the partial elements of the partial elements continuum for orders 130 to 138. Here is a zoomed in version of the plots shown in the previous slide. Here we consider the geometry, atmospheric priors and absorption cross sections that have been used in the ARIES model. Martian ellipsoidal and spherical geometry modules have been included and they calculate the line of sight intersection points between atmospheric layers. These path lengths are used in the radiative transfer calculations. A Mars climate database Python library has been written and linked to ARIES. This provides access to Martian vertical temperature, pressure and volume mixing ratio profiles. Martian absorption cross sections have been generated using Hytran 2016 accounting for expected Martian pressures, temperatures, and CO2 broadening. All of the aforementioned models combined enable ARIES to produce simulated NOMAD spectra. We've chosen to compare the ARIES forward model against NASA's planetary spectrum generator. Through running ARIES and the PSG forward models with mutual input variables for diffraction 134, we can see a good agreement we considered various examples whereby no AOTF and blaze function has been used, ARIES with and without the AOTF and blaze function, and ARIES versus the PSG where both models have incorporated the AOTF and blaze function. The diagram here is the same as the one shown on the previous slide, zoomed in, whereby ARIES and the PSG are compared against one another with no AOTF and blaze function applied. The residuals are seen below. The next example shows only ARIES but with and without AOTF and blaze function applied. The final example shows ARIES versus the planetary spectrum generator with AOTF and blaze function applied in both cases. We find that the residuals are lowest when the AOTF and blaze function are both applied. Briefly I'm going to go into the benefits of using ARIES. So the posterior distributions that we could obtain using ARIES map the exact statistical correlations between atmospheric parameters. The schematic diagram shows the TGO taking a set of observations. These are the M1 to Mn. You can see the line of sight paths intersecting through a set of Martian atmospheric layers, L1 to Ln, and a set of tangent heights at the center of the diagram. The resultant posterior distributions corresponding to particular path lengths are also shown. We observed that the retrievals for lower tangent heights are strongly noise dominated, while middle atmosphere retrievals produce tighter constraints. Now I'm going to consider alternative representations for nomad spectra and how this combined with ARIES could give us a better understanding of the Martian atmosphere. The standard transmittance spectra representation isn't conducive to the search for trace gas species or weak signatures. In the following examples, I'm going to show two alternative representations. The first representation is one whereby a polynomial is fit to the nomad transmittance spectra. The observed transmittance is then subtracted from the polynomial baseline. This is the representation shown in the bottom left. This representation can then be converted to a color map of transmittance minus polynomial baseline against wave number and measurement number. Here you can clearly see absorption features 
at 3048 wave number. The second representation is of the transmittance polynomial baseline gradient against wave number. This is the graph on the bottom left. This can then be represented in the diagram on the right as a color map of the transmittance polynomial baseline gradient against wave number and measurement number. This could highlight nomad instrument effects and or atmospheric layering. To summarize, Ares is a Mars version of Tarex 3 an atmospheric retrieval framework designed for the TGO Nomad Solar Occultation Channel. I've run simulations and retrievals using typical Martian mixing ratio concentrations. Aries and the planetary spectrum generator for models have been compared for Nomad Solar Occultation Channel and are in good agreement. I've also shown marginalized and conditional posterior distributions. Finally, I've considered alternative representations of Nomad data. These alternative representations, combined with ARIES, offer a new method of research into the Martian atmosphere and of solar system atmospheric science. We'd like to thank the UK Space Agency for their support of this Aurora Science Studentship. We'd also like to recognise that the development of TAREX has received funding from the ERC under the European Union's Horizon 2020 Research and Innovation Programme. I'd like to thank Bira ISB for providing Test Nomad Spectra, and in particular Ian Thomas for helping understanding the intricacies of Nomad. Finally, I'd like to thank my supervisors, Peter Miller, Ingo Waldman, and Dave Walton for their support, and Ahmed Al Rafi for his development of Tarex 3. Also, I highly recommend viewing Ahmed's talk in XO4 on Tarex 3.1. Thanks for watching. I'll be available for questions and discussions in the dedicated forum or via social media at any of the following below throughout EPSE 2020. Um, for further details on ARIES, visit Archive. This paper has recently been submitted to Icarus, and here are my references.